What we have here is a set of segments for a crankshaft. I'm gonna call this a segmented crankshaft. I don't know if that's a real thing, but I know a lot of the model engine guys will build them this way, uh, usually with dowel pins, some kind of precision locating involved. This one is a little bit simpler. We're using screws by themselves because for this project, it's not that important to be super precise. And these are set up so that they're stackable and they are all exactly the same part. What you can do is you get to choose the timing with this. So there's a series of holes and you can choose which ones you want to go with. this fashion you get your crankshaft with the offset uh, driving bearings to get your motion and you can make it as long as you want, as short as you want, pick any timing that you want.
This is an example of the connecting rods that will go to this. So these are going to be fitting onto here. And then if this is being driven, you'll get your linear motion out of it that way. And there's a whole set of these that will go along with this. These connecting rods here, if you're interested in seeing how we made these and how we built these, there is another video on the connecting rod machining. It's a modular crankshaft design and so you get five or six of these or however many you want in in this project it's going to be six of these connecting rods but this is really the motion that we're looking for here crankshaft's going to be driven by a hand wheel it's going to be hand crank and then these connecting rods are going to push other parts in the front here or in a different orientation probably vertical something like this it's pretty close to what we're going for Trying a bunch of different things here, learning as we go, designing parts and improving them as we go. And we will show you the full assembly when we get all the parts done.